Hello there, this is Rom Wills coming back at you with yet another video. Haters will come when you are better with women. You know what? I'll just be real with y'all. I'm going to be real with y'all. You're going to get haters. You know what? You, all you guys out there who are listening to my stuff or someone else's work and you really working on self-improvement, you know, Hopefully just for life in general, but we'll, we'll just stick with just uh, dealing with women in particular. You're looking to get better. you working on it. You know what? you hitting body game. You know, you might not be ready to compete in that uh, bodybuilding contest or fitness model contest, but you know what? Your muscles are becoming more defined. You drop some weight, you put on some muscles, you're dressing better, you're letting the barber bless you more. Um, shoot, you got some colognes. You've been practicing talking to three women a day. Shit, you up to the point where they try and talk your head off and everything, right? Shoot, you doing all of that stuff. Don't think all the, you gonna find out who your friends are. All, all the all the men around you might not like it. Cause I've talked about this before. When you get select men, or I'm gonna start saying thorough men. They tend to want to hang out with other thorough men, but non-thorough men are going to hang out with non-thorough men. And see, here's the, here's the thing with that. Here is the thing with that. When you are hanging, like when you in that group and you're not getting the ladies and you're around other dudes and y'all talking, y'all the women, this or that, but then you start, you start getting the ladies. Like at first they might be like, oh, okay, way to go, you know? Especially, you know, they way to go, especially if she isn't all that. They'd be like, oh, okay, okay. You know, some of them ain't going to like that, but that's, that's another conversation. But, you know, or if, especially if you get someone fine or something, they might be like, uh, and then you start getting consistent. The ladies start saying something. Oh, they will come. They're they going to start getting mad. You not like them, or you might not be hanging out with them as much because, well, you're hanging out with some ladies now, you know? <laughs> Shoot, you, you having sex now. You ain't hanging out anymore. Oh, they're going to come. They're going to come. And that's just when, within your uh, social circle. If you want a job or something, I've seen this happen on several jobs. I have seen this. I've seen this in the government level. I've seen this at a uh, private industry level, retail level, whatever. If you that one dude, you uh, you on the all you on the top of the office, uh, fuck file. Shout out cousin T tall. Shoot, don't think all the all the fellas are going to be liking that. Oh, they are gonna be looking at it. And don't let those fellas be in a position of authority, a manager or something like that. They gonna come for you. <laughs> they gonna come for you. Heck, even if you ain't trying to mess with the women on the job, if they peep that the women on the job are checking for you, they gonna get funky. They are going to get funky and shoot. Even in social environments, you might be that dude at the gym all the ladies are looking at. And you're going to get some dudes, they're just going to be like, mm. some other ones, they'll be cool with you, but they'll say little things or some snide comments. It's like, oh, wait a minute. You know, they ain't happy for you because they ain't in that position. And that's normal. Actually, it's normal for one simple reason. Men are competitive. Let's just be real. We're competitive with each other. That's why you get a bunch of guys who are having trouble with women. They try to put down the guys who are instead of trying to be like the guys who are. But you're not in that category because you're just saying, OK, I'm having trouble with women. Let me improve myself because I want women. And you ain't one of those dudes. Well, I don't want to mess with women. You honest with yourself because, you know, your dick getting hard. So you want to do what you got to do. But they're going to come with it. You're going to find out who your friends are. You going as you improve. And let me take this just beyond women for a second. It could be with anything, making money, anything, you know? You're gonna find out, oh, they ain't liking it. You're getting better than them, you know? They might even try to start sabotaging you. Like if you want a job, like say you want a job or something, and not even just about the women, but you started to do more work, or you getting better, you might be getting more assignments, you even get maybe a raise, shoot. You're going to find out the same guys who were cool with you, they're going to be like, 
And she might even try to sabotage you. Might even try to sabotage you. That's how deep it is. Cause they're jealous instead of just being men themselves and like, oh, okay, I see what you're doing. I'm up there, I'm gonna get in there too. In fact, that's why you do have situations where thorough men will hang out with other thorough men or non-thorough men will hang out with other non-thorough men. You know, that's why, because you're going, you're going to get that hate. You, you're going to get that hate. It is what it is. You know, they're going to be funky. I mean, shit. I, I, shit, I personally experienced situations in certain social circles. Dudes didn't even know me just because they saw me talking with certain women. They just talking, not even getting with talking. They getting all funky with me. They get, I'm like, dude, you don't even know me. Shoot, if you talk to me, you'd be cool with me. I'd tell you how to get with that woman because I ain't trying to get with her. Shit, have a conversation with me. I'll say, yeah, why don't you do this, this, and this with the woman, you know? But you're going to, that's the thing, and that's the thing you got to prepare for. I'm going to be real. As you rise up, and this is, go, this, once again, I'm going to just, I started talking about with the women, but just in life, period. Be prepared for the haters. Be prepared. Be prepared for somebody getting funky or trying to break you down because they not, they not on that level. Just be prepared. That's when you find out who your true friends are. And let me, let me just say something about that. You find out they weren't friends to begin with. At best, they were acquaintances. And in fact, some of the people who might be friendliest with you hate you the most. Let me say that again. Some of the people who might be the friendliest with you, they hate you the most. Because sometimes that's the person that's going to come in and try to be cool with you and everything. You know? They, re they really hate your guts. They really hate your guts. So, I mean, this... <laughs> It's crazy, but I'm gonna tell you what, as you rise up, and like I said, let's take it beyond women. Women got your attention to even watch this video, but beyond women, you gotta just find new crews. And indeed, it's not gonna be, I'm just gonna be real with you. As you succeed in life, period, you're gonna find out what you thought were your friendship circles are gonna get, get down. Now, the reason why I say what well, you thought were your friendship circles, because like I said, they were just acquaintances. Or sometimes they were just straight up enemies who are low key trying to destroy you. So you're going to find out, you, you're going to be like, you know what? They want a real friend. Because your real friends, your true friends, not only are they going to be happy with you, they're going to ask what can they do, or they're going to be, they're going to be rolling with you. That's how you're going to know who your true friends are. So I always understand that. But other than that, be prepared for the haters. Now, what can you do about them? You know what? I'm going to just be real with you. You have to just let them know you're not the one to mess with. Don't try to interfere. If they do something, sometimes you might have to take them to the side say, look, I'm just doing my thing. You got a problem with it. You know, if we got to fight this out, okay, let's go. Or if you got to, if you want a job or something, you got to start taking notes and be prepared to go to human resources. Boom. Whatever you got to do, you got to let them know, okay, if they got a problem with you, that's on them. As long as they don't put their hands on you or try to interfere with your life. And if they do, you let them know there are consequences. All right? So, anyway, that's all I have for right now. I'll get back with y'all. Peace and blessings.